is a young Ewan man from New South Wales, Warren Foster. Good morning. Yo, yo, good morning, everyone. <laughs> what up? Actually, I should say Warren Foster Jr. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so he's uh. here with me this morning. Um, thank you for joining me. All right, let's kick off by you telling us where you're from and where your country is. So, good morning, everyone. So, my name is Warren Foster Jr. Uh, I go under, I rap under Prodigal One. So, I come from Ewan Jiringanj country, which is about six hours south of Sydney. We've got a big mountain there called Gulliga. I come from Wallaga Lake and another big mountain there by Munga. And that's where all our creation stories and stuff start back down home. But I'm about six hours south of Sydney and about an hour north of Victorian border. So about 45 minutes right on the coast. Mm. So we all, our people, Karangomaran. So the mountain and the sea. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> a bit like here. Is it big like Robin? Yeah, yeah. Big and small. Bay. And it's, 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 it's actually real similar. And, uh, and I find it, I found it very interesting coming out here. It really, it feels like home. Excellent. The people are very similar. They're actually the same. <laughs> mm. The little brothers and sisters here are just like my little brothers and sisters at home. The uncles and aunties are in a, a similar place within their lives. So, and this is what I've really come across. Mm. And it's been interesting to see, even though we're across the other side of the map, there's not much that changes. Mm. And like my old fellas always told me, one land, one law, and one people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're known as a rapper, but there are other ways you express your creativity. Tell us a bit more about yourself. <laughs> so, yeah, rap is, well, that's my expression of myself. So rap is the form of storytelling that I like to use, well, that I find best fits my point of storytelling. See, like, if we go back in the days in our cultural times and how our systems work and the society works back then, we have the painters, the fishers, the dancers, the sing song men and women, and with all this here, it's just like today. Mm. See, they're just different mediums of telling the stories, the stories that the old fellas tell us, the ones that have been passed down, and even the new stories today and the stories of the future. And it's just like rap is the me well the music that is most well well is the most recent mm -hmm. you know and because it's the youngest music art form in the world and it's well it's the most expression it has the most expression in it I see mm -hmm. it's got all the elements from like dress what you look like what you feel like like how you dance, so you know, mm. and then what you say, it all, it's all got meaning and it empowers me and as, as an individual. So I feel like from writing through raps, like, and then I also got, I, I talk shit too. <laughs> ah, a comedian, I, I muck around. <laughs> so yeah, and then, okay. yeah. All right, so I believe you're following in your father's footstep. What could you tell me, tell us about working with your father? Oh, <laughs> so yeah, because I, I grew up on what like, like a little community. I've been all of my education from young fella was basically about what home is, mm -hmm. what it means to be from home, and who our identity is. Now, because we're on the east coast, we were first and directly affected by. Cook's arrival and all that stuff, see? So we have to, we have to, we had to deal with that there and overcome it and try and navigate and find the space where culture still fits within the broader society that is so imposing, you know? It feels like it's just so, it just takes over everything and has no space for us sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it is like that. 
It's too greedy. It isn't yeah. a family. It isn't a safe place <laughs> in the world that we live in. So what we do is to keep our culture alive and bring it back because that's what it took. It took my like uh, dad and all the uncles and pops and all them to bring it back after all that time of it being hidden. Mm -hmm. We had to go into hiding because that was, if you spoke your language, if you done culture or stuff, they kill you mm -hmm. or they take you away. See, so it was that. Coming out of the seventies and stuff, when uh, when we started getting off the farms and stuff, and then, well, because after the strikes and all that happened up here, then they was like, "Yo, we need wages and all this here stuff," but they didn't want to give it to us. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, nah, we don't. Well, you don't want to work. We won't even. You ain't. You can't even eat beer." Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then, always living off was like rations and stuff, and the culture for all this year time was always there, mm. just like it'll always be here, no matter what time in the future it's going to be. All right. I, believe, yeah. I believe you had a good um, turnout for your first workshop here. How are our young people doing with their rapping? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a spirit. Like, we literally walked in there, set up the mic, and they started, I think they literally walked in the door. Seeing, seeing the mic set up and just, like, went straight into it. And it was so much passion and skills and just even the wordplay and, well, the ability that is here mm. and the skills that is here and in a lot of our communities is just incredible. And it just needs that freedom and that little bit of openness to be themselves. Because the, too often... Yeah, we we feel like we can't be ourselves, you know, because there, there's I don't know, there's a lot of different things that come into play with that, but without, but in that moment of rapping and just letting it all out, that's the full expression. And seeing them in that moment and having a mad old time was the best. Let's go! Can't wait till we do more. <laughs> all right. Um. So, what are we going to hear now? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> so we got a uh, well, we got a lot coming up. The songs of peace is gonna be mad as. So I want to see you all down there. Uh, Hang on, sorry. Let's, <laughs> just one more question: How do you manage to keep in touch with any talents you discover in places like Robin? Now this is massive. See, just like myself, I come from. A little community. Mm. Right? I come from a place just like Roeburn, but I'm amongst it all. But we're still so isolated, you know? So it's like, and that's as a people as a whole. So when it comes to the music and the ability of us as black fellas to pursue and to be ourselves is the ultimate achievement, you know? Mm. To fully express ourselves and to take it to the next level and to be professional and to show everyone around the world and even just the mob here starting community. That's where it all starts. But take it all the way. Because you have people here with the skills that can do anything. Now, us as a people, we have the ability to do anything. Mm. And now it's just champion, and now they're taking <laughs> to the next level. And it's like, so what I do is I do what I can connect them to the people I know and further and inspire them and say, yo, if you really want to do this, and this is to anyone out there, if you have a dream and if you want to be something, do it. Because there's no one holding you back but yourself. Only you can hold yourself back, remember? Remember, we're all just here in the world. We're just around here. you gotta make, you got to be yourself. Yeah. Yeah, thank you.